Hi, I'm Josephine Mago. Halos isang taon na ako nagtatrabaho as a client deposit manager dito sa FBP. My main duty is to check the total deposit account and to monitor the inflow and outflow of deposits. It is also my job to regulate deposits since there are some possibility na bababa yung interest sa deposits. As a client deposit manager, trabaho ko na i-prevent yun at mapalapilit pa rin mataas ang interest sa deposits. Why banks do need deposits? Banks simply cannot function without deposits. It serves as a lifeblood on the economy, and without it, small businesses would not be able to access funds from individuals at all. Through demand deposits, we create money to increase the money supply in the economy. What strategies does FBP do to attract clients to engage in depositing in your bank? Of course, to retain current customers and to attract new ones, we provide quality services and engage in different levels of strategies to cover up all the necessary things that the client wants. First, we enhance the services by allowing the customers to make electronic deposits through web connections. Second, second promoting our products and services through referral programs where employees are receiving incentives. And lastly, to market our campaign through creating ideas that should impart the important matters via email or direct mail. My name is Eleni Grace Castro. I'm FBP's Loan Specialist and I've been working here for three years. As a Loan Specialist, my duty is to coordinate with loan staff to see all the total loans that they approved. I need to check and evaluate all the necessary informations, such as the client's info, the terms and policies of the agreement of those loans. Additional part of my job that is very crucial is to determine all the NPAs for the past months to start planning for the must-do actions. What do you mean by NPA? NPA, ito yung mga non-performing asset, also known as bad loans. Kaya bad loans kasi, alam naman natin na ang NPA nag-originate siya sa loans at ang loans asset yan sa banko. Pero magiging non-performing na siya kapag ka hindi na nakapagbayad si borrower at kapag ka nag na siya in 90 days. So meron din classifications ang NPA. First is yung substandard asset. Iyon yung lumampas na ng 12 months na hindi nakakabayad. Then yung doubtful assets. Kaya sinabing doubtful kasi hindi pa sure kung talagang wala na ba talagang pag-asa. So it means pwede pang ma-recover. And usually, ito yung mga weak businesses. Kahit na weak kasi sila, may pag-asa naman na in time, lumakas din sila. Loss. Loss asset. Ito na yung mga hindi na talaga na-recover and dinedetermine to ng central banks and auditors. What are the reasons of the occurrence of NPA? So, actually, there's a lot of reasons, pero to specify yung mga ilan, ito yung mga normal reasons. So, number one, yung normal banking operations. Then two, bad lending practice. Three, incremental components due to internal bank management like credit policy, terms, and conditions. And then, number four, competition of banks selling unsecured loans. Kasi yung iba, nag-offer na sila ng unsecured loans. Ito yung mga loans na hindi na hinihinga ng collateral. Yung credit worthiness lang yung ginagamit. So, syempre, mas may encourage dun yung borrowers mag-engage. I'm Fatima Dalmar, Loan Officer at Futures Bank of the Philippines. So, as a loan officer, my main duty is to authorize, evaluate, and recommend approval of any kinds of loans that our bank offers. I also coordinate with uh, different staffs and officers para magkakatugma kami ng information because even though uh, we handle different things, those different things are connected with each other. Especially, and to give you a specific example, one of the best is the deposit. I cannot just approve a deposit without knowing our, the amount of our total current deposit. So, matinding analyzation siya. Kaya, we always conduct a meeting. The hardest uh, part of my job is the decision making of whether I should approve or not approve the loan application of the applicants. So it is important to use the KYC or Know Your Customer Policy to analyze well the applicant's financial status, credit, um, and property evaluation to determine the feasibility of granting a loan. So it is also important that uh, to help the clients to understand well, the loan agreements before granting them the loan to assure that the clients fully understand the agreement and 
it is also, lastly, it is also important to ask them what kind of loan they want to avail and compute the payment schedule. That what are the requirements needed in applying for loans? The requirements needed for applying for loans, number one, for an employee or for professional, uh, government-issued photo-bearing ID such as SSS, PRC, driver's license or passport. All, uh, also, the three-month original copy of payment slip or the latest income tax return. Number two, for self-employed, uh, gover also government-issued photo-bearing ID, in uh, latest income tax return, the audited financial statements for the last three years, and lastly, the DTI permit or securities and exchange registration. And lastly, for overseas workers or OFWs, uh, government-issued photo-bearing ID, POEA contract or employment contract with uh, boarding date, and lastly, is the proof of remittance. How much is the minimum and maximum limit for a loan person? The minimum amount for loan approval is 30,000 and the maximum amount will be 1 million pesos. Oh, I 